Hey everybody, a number of videos ago I asked for your questions and I said I was going to do a Q&A. So I wanted to do a Q&A, but I wanted to do it maybe in a little more of an interesting way than just me sitting here answering questions. So I thought I would just play a little bit and, uh, you know, answer some of your questions as I go. So I don't know what I'm going to play, but uh, I guess let's just jump into it. How the hell did you get so amazing at memes? Am I amazing at memes? I don't feel like I am. I feel like other people are amazing at memes. And I just take those memes and turn them into something that hopefully you enjoy. <laughs> so I don't, I don't make, I don't, I guess I don't make them. I just, uh, I use them. I'm a, uh, I'm a meme poster. <laughs> How do you get your hair to be like that? Uh, you know, actually, um, I'm not afraid to admit, I blow dry my hair. You know why? Because it makes it do what I want it to much easier. And then I just use like some gel or spray or whatever just to get it to kind of stick. How do you know what chord goes with what note while you're making the meme music? Short answer is, I don't. But I can also kind of make it whatever I want it to be, too. Because uh, I, I put out a video a while ago called How to Make Any Note Fit in A Chord in Any Key. So that might have some interesting information that you might be, uh, that you might find useful uh, about how I kind of take whatever the notes that I transcribe from the speech, whatever those are, I can kind of apply them to anything. Because even if they don't fit into a traditional chord, like it's third or the fifth or the seventh uh, maybe it's some alteration that some weird form of a chord um, but it, it'll fit somehow so yeah short answer is it doesn't doesn't really matter how old were you when you started playing the piano I was eight grandma was my first teacher I would uh, get off the bus at her house on Wednesdays and I would do my best to avoid taking the lesson and just wander around her kitchen looking for snacks, but she always uh, wound up dragging me to the piano and actually made me learn something, which I guess I should be thankful to her for. Um, what's your routine? I'd probably be a lot more productive if I had one. I've tried different things in the past. I've tried, you know, um, just sticking to my, That's my problem, sticking to it. You know, if I come up with some really great idea, I'm like, oh, this is going to be really productive. I'm going to get so much done. Uh, I just have a problem sticking to things. So I need to be better at that. And that's uh, definitely something that's in the plans. How long have you been playing piano for? Well, I said I started when I was eight, so I'm 26. Um, about, um... Sorry, my phone started ringing. Uh, 18 years, I guess, yeah. Uh, any tips for us? Yes. Do what makes you want to play the piano. You know, studying classical has its benefits. There's a lot of fundamental techniques and things that you really should do, yes, but, and if you're serious about it, it's gonna help you. It's gonna help you become a better player. And there, those are things that are good to do. But not if they're gonna make you lose interest. What's better is that you continue to play. So do whatever you, do what you want. And then if you're really serious and you want to get better, then focus on the things that are maybe a little more tedious, that aren't as fun. Do you, 
play any other instruments? Yes, I do. Um, I have played the... My pedal keeps running away from me. I gotta put something on the ground. Um, I've played trumpet since I was like nine or something like that. I taught myself saxophone. Not well, but a little bit. Um, I've played drums for a while. Again, not really well, but I love playing them. And it's something I want to get better at eventually. you to make music out of memes well actually first let's change it up a little bit uh, the first thing I did is I made music out of tweets I pulled up a, a article of some of the funniest Trump tweets and I, and I started thinking what if these were songs and I was singing them to myself in my head and I couldn't stop laughing I was like this is the dumbest thing literally the dumbest thing I've ever thought of and so um, and so I just made a few. I found out later that um, I found out later that that I guess Josh Groban did it on like Jimmy Kimmel or something. So again, not my um, not my original idea. But neither are neither is um, putting uh, pu putting speech to music, transcribing the notes of speech, and putting that to music. That's been done, you know, before. And actually, I found um, as early as the 60s with, believe it or not, John Coltrane. He played along with the Martin Luther King Jr. speech, and it wasn't exactly um, what I do or what any of the other artists that have kind of done this sort of thing do, but it was starting to hint at the concept. Really fascinating, though. Um, do you prefer playing acoustic piano versus a digital one? Acoustic, definitely. I just don't have one because I can't really afford one right now and I don't have the space. You sing in some of your videos. Have you always liked to sing or is it just for the videos? Um, I have always liked to sing. Um, I haven't always had much of a chance to, but it, singing is an instrument just like any other just like any other uh, instrument, if you, you have to practice and you get better as you practice. It's not simply like you either can sing or you can't. You know, I mean, maybe there's a certain amount of that, but if you have any ability at all, sing more and you will get better. You know what I mean? It's like who to thunk it, right? Uh, what kind of music training do you have? Where did you study? So I have a degree in, in jazz for whatever that's worth. And I got it from the Conservatory Music at Purchase College just outside of New York City in Westchester County, where I spent four years in the jazz program there, which is a really, really phenomenal jazz program. If anybody's considering you know, going to school for jazz, I highly recommend considering it. It's like a, um, it's like a really cost-effective alternative to places like Manhattan School of Music, Juilliard, NYU, and half of the faculty is literally the same. So, you know, um, because they will get a bunch of those musicians that teach at both places. But I had a really great experience there, really great education, and then I got a piece of paper that's worth pretty much nothing, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> do you watch other music-related YouTubers? Yes, I do. Uh, any underrated channels you want to shout out? Sure, yeah. Um, in fact, here's a couple people that have been doing this longer than me. I guess, I don't know, I, I, I just was very fortunate to be in the right place at the right time that I've grown. Um, quickly, which I'm very thankful for, but uh, Finn MK is one. He's really, really talented, puts out great videos. Um, and, and also, there's a drummer named David Dockery who I didn't know about until I started making these videos. And people um, kind of like, they told me about him. And then I went and checked out his stuff and I was like, wow, this dude is... This dude is like a really great drummer, and then he also kind of does the same sort of rhythmic thing where he puts the uh, the, 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 the drums to, to videos like I do. And really, really amazing. Both of those guys are great. Definitely check them out. Would you like to learn more instruments anytime soon? Sure. Um, I'd love to get better at guitar. I know like nothing. Like I know a very, very small amount. Uh, but that would be something that I would imagine would be really useful to know. And I'd like to explore that more, definitely. 
and uh, drums. That's another thing. I play a little bit, um, but I want to get more serious about it. I'm just gonna collect my pedal again. Um, yeah, yeah, drums. I want to. I want to actually spend some time, like, actually focus on doing it the right way. Which video of yours is your favorite so far? Uh, it's hard to choose a favorite, but I yeah, I really enjoy the um, Have You Ever Had a Dream Kid? Just rhythmically, the way that kind of came out, whoops, the way that kind of came out, I, it just was a ton of fun. I was really happy with some of the rhythms that kind of resulted in that one, but uh, any tips on practicing identifying music notes by listening? Yeah, come up with reference points. There's certain songs that you hear and you hear them in the key that they were in. Like, okay, so this is E flat. Like Green Dolphin Street. I can always hear E flat because I can kind of hear Green Dolphin Street. So that's one. So just find a reference point that you can remember really easily, and then you can sort of intervallically find other notes from that point. What has brought you to this and what's kept you doing it? Well, what's brought me to it is just kind of coming up with an idea that I thought would be fun to try, and I tried it, and people liked it. And that's what keeps me going, is that you guys keep watching and hopefully enjoying, which I'm really grateful for. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm having a blast doing it, and I'll keep doing it as long as people enjoy it. So thank you for that. Um, how do you jazz? I don't, I don't know. I wish I, <laughs> it's a constant struggle. It's a lifelong. It's a lifelong project that, uh, I don't know if we ever really figure it out. In what other ways do you use your musical talents? Well, I make real, quote unquote real music um, not that this isn't but you know I have a basically I have an album it's called Tales it was released in July you can find it on any major streaming platform um, and that's kind of like a good example it's all original it's all stuff that I wrote and um, really happy with it really proud of it really proud of the guys that played on that record so if you want to go check that out I'll put a link uh, down in the description to it How are you? That's really nice. Thanks. Um, I'm well. How about you? Are you are you well? I've played that too many times. Did you always want to be a YouTuber? Yes, actually. And this is this is what's been so crazy about this. Because yeah, this is, this is really, this has always been a dream of mine, and I've tried so many different things. There's so many videos. Oh. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, but there's like hundreds of videos probably on my YouTube channel that are not public. Um, that just me trying things and, you know, trying um, different types of like vlogging and things like that and, and nothing ever caught. But I always really, really wanted to do this. My goal was to build an audience that I could create meaningful content for that I enjoyed making, that hopefully people enjoyed consuming. Um, so the fact that this kind of has, has all happened is really insane to me because I've just been trying for this for so long so this is really like a dream come true and of course you know I have all of you to thank for that so yeah this is super cool um, what's a good place where's a good place to start for someone wanting to learn to play the piano listen to the music you want to play and then again like I said in the beginning do the things that make you want to play don't do the things that will will, will keep you from playing um, Because those things will, you'll stop playing the piano altogether and you won't want to continue.
favorite genre of music to play and why? Uh, uh, jazz, you know, in, in the widest possible context, meaning like... Um, Uh, yeah, you know, just the freedom of improvisation, whether it's more classic sounding like, you know, traditional jazz or some more modern stuff. I just, yeah, it's 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 so much fun to play. So, I, yeah, I would say roughly like jazz. Uh, principal jazz influences. I mean, aside from like all the basics that everybody, I mean, I say ba they're not basic by any means, but the people that everybody who gets into jazz checks out, you know, of course, all of them. The first person that got me into jazz that made me decide that I wanted to learn how to play it on the piano was Oscar Peterson. So, yeah, that's like, he's like the number one dude for me. Uh, recently, um, I've been super into this Armenian jazz pianist named Tigran Hamasyan. His rhythmic style and his harmonic style is just unbelievable to me. And he's really opened my ears rhythmically to kind of like think about polyrhythms and, and uh, uh, you know, poly sort of meters on top of each other differently than I ever have. And that's just been super crazy to get into. Has anyone in your videos reacted to them? Yeah, I mean, the whole thing started because uh, Cardi B, oh, I gotta get out of here, let's see. <laughs> let's break that sort of harmonic idea for a second. Uh, Cardi B retweeted the, re the original Cardi B video that I did, and that's kind of what triggered everything to start. So that was nuts. Um, Snoop Dogg also shared that one to his Instagram, which things I never thought in a million years would ever happen to me. Um, how do you choose which means to, memes to accompany? Well, partially by user request. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Um, yeah, when you guys say you want something, I, I pay attention. I read the comments. And I try to do as many as I can. You have perfect pitch. I do not have perfect pitch. Do you have relative pitch? I think so. I always get confused at what relative pitch is, but I think that's what I have. I don't have perfect pitch. Your opinion on the Katy Perry Dark Horse fiasco. Um, it's ridiculous. Uh, and I, I, Adam Neely can tell you far more about it and why it's ridiculous, but I think he's absolutely right in that it sets a really dangerous precedent because you have a jury of people who, whom I can only assume are not musicians and don't know what they're talking about and are just issuing an opinion based on not really much valuable information because the two things don't sound alike. I mean, they might sound roughly similar, but they don't share a melody, they don't share a sound, they don't share a tempo, they don't share a drum beat, they don't share a chord progression, none of that. What else do you need besides an opinion just to say, well, I think it kind of sounds like it, you know? And like, there's also the aspect too of like, I feel like a jury of people that recognize Katy Perry's name, obviously. And then they're saying, oh, here's this, you know, this Christian rapper and stuff like, and they're thinking like, here's somebody who's much smaller, who's, who's, they're, they're having their livelihood hurt because this giant person, Katy Perry came in and stole their stuff. And it's like, it's like, they're, I feel like a, a lot of people might want to find an issue with Katy Perry in that sense because they're trying to protect the little guy, you know what I mean? And like, I get it, it makes sense, but at the same time, it's not based on anything real. It's like, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, again, Adam Neely can explain it much, much better than I can. Did you ever expect to reach as many subscribers as you have now? You know, that's interesting because, uh, no, I didn't expect it. Um, but like I said before, I've really always wanted to be a content creator and uh, I've been trying for a long time so I, I guess I sort of believed that I would eventually because I always thought it was gonna happen I was like I'll find something I will find a way I was kind of like just determined in that and and uh, I just didn't know what it was gonna be I definitely didn't know it was gonna be this but uh, I didn't expect it no especially doing this this has kind of been crazy to me for sure what's an altered scale Seventh mode of the harmonic, ah! Seventh mode of the melodic minor scale, not harmonic, sorry. Okay. 
Can I pay you to be my music instructor? Why, yes, you can. I've, uh, yeah, no, I've actually been doing some, um, some online video lessons with people from all over the world. This, just in the last week I started doing it. I'm having a blast. And it's a ton of fun to meet some of you guys and talk about what you're working on musically. So if you want, uh, I have a link in the description where you can go and check to see if there's slots available. If there are, feel free. Excuse me. Feel free to grab one, and um, and I'd love to. Yeah, I'd love to chat about what you're working on and what what you want to improve on, all that stuff. What's your favorite mode? Um, either Lydian or Dorian. Depends on the context. How do you not laugh at these videos? Because once you've done them a thousand times to try to record them perfectly, they stop being funny. And normally, when I'm recording. Uh, or rather when I'm editing, they're still not funny. Even once I finish them, I have to come back like an hour later after I've kind of got it out of my head and go, you know, is this, is this funny? And then, then it'll, it'll be, it'll be better. But, uh, when I'm doing them, you just, you get so used to what you're trying to emulate that you start, it, it stops being funny. So that's how, <laughs> um, other hobbies that bring you joy. I am crazy passionate about skiing. Um, I moved to Colorado, like three quarters of the reason was to ski. So, um, yeah, I, I love skiing. I love mountain biking, preferably downhill. So yeah, those types of sports, I'm really, I spend a lot of time doing as much as I can anyways. Does your music theory get in the way of enjoying music? This is an issue. You know what? I'm going to stop for a second. Cause this is actually a really interesting question. Short answer. Yes. But it also like you're asking, doesn't enhance the experience. It can, when music is really great, I feel like knowing theory and being able to understand it really enhances the experience and it makes it that much better. Uh, because you get what's going on and sometimes you understand why something is so awesome. At the same time, if something is really lazily written or just doesn't contain anything really of value, um, and of course that's also you know subjective, but, but knowing music theory can certainly inhibit your ability to kind of take that in and really enjoy it. So yeah, it does, it does make a difference for sure. Um... Hardest part of learning music theory, applying music theory. Where are you from? So, sorry, I'm distracting myself. Um, I'm actually from like four hours straight north of New York City. Uh, in a really, in a really, really small town called Hartford. And whenever I say Hartford, I, people go, oh, you're from Connecticut. Nope, there is a Hartford, New York, believe it or not. There's like 2,000 people there, really, really small, a bunch of farms. I grew up on a farm. Um, but that's where I'm from. And I just recently moved to Denver, which I'm loving, and I really enjoy being here. But home um, is upstate, rural, northern New York, definitely. So uh, where are you? Uh, I just read that question. Why are you in another room in your latest videos? This, yeah. Uh, I made a change because I felt like some of the videos that I was putting out were kind of distracting because the video that I was trying to show amidst the background of like my kitchen, um, it was kind of sometimes hard to make out like the edges of that video. Um, and I just felt like, hey, this would probably come out a lot clearer on a more solid background. But uh, I'm actually planning on moving soon because... A lot of people always say, why is your piano in your kitchen? It's not. That's like my whole apartment. So when you have two people and a dog living in this place, it's like, um, it, it's it's tough, especially when I've taken over the entire thing to be my studio, which was never the intention when we moved into this space. So we're working on getting a new space where I can build a new studio. And so hopefully that will all change pretty soon. Uh, but stay stay posted for that. Anyways, that's uh, that's all I've got for right now. Thank you so much for checking it out. I hope it was uh, somewhat interesting or somewhat entertaining or whatever. But um, yeah, if you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below and we'll do this again sometime. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.